the RBA showcase the new look in season tournament trophy draped in gold draped in gold draped in gold and soon as i squinted my eyes as i can squint my eyes people it's almost like i can already see lebron james name already written on it he already won they already know who the winner is they know LeBron James is going to win. This is no surprise. He's going to get a gold medal, in-season MVP trophy. He get his own customized basketball. How bad will the RBA cheat the Phoenix Suns? Now, I just find it so ironic. It's just mysterious how Bradley Bill gets traded to the Phoenix Suns. Bradley Bill comes back, plays. Then he's out injured again. Now, Bradley Bill is going to miss some significant amount of time. So he's not going to play in the end season tournament. Now, Devin Booker is going to play and Kevin Durant is going to play because we know that the NBA is scripted. So could the NBA have forced Bradley Bill to sit out to make it a competitive game? Let me repeat that. Did the RBA convince Bradley Bill to sit out so that it could be an even game, so they could so-called be on an even playing field, although LeBron James is supposedly the greatest player of all time. But we've never seen this man actually slay a dragon. we never seen the giant take down the bigger giant. He always go for the midgets, i.e. Steph Curry. What leads us professional observers to think that the NBA has customized and created LeBron James' own personalized in-season tournament is because LeBron James, effective December 30th, LeBron James will be 39 years old. The rig Basketball Association, they're aware of the fact that LeBron James is on steroids, allegedly. So they know that although that LeBron James is on steroids, allegedly, that still doesn't mean that he isn't liable to get injured. See, they're smart. They're 10 steps ahead. They already know. They know he's liable to still sustain an injury. So they say, no, we don't want to chance that. We don't want a chance there for LeBron. Am I preaching, guys? Am I preaching to the choir? See, they know that LeBron James can still get injured. So they said, you know what? We have to hurry up and get it out the way fast. We have to do it in a hurry. Pretty soon, they're going to create an off-season tournament. <laughs> They're going to say, we'll get LeBron James an off-season tournament. The RBA, the Rig Basketball Association, know that it's going to be difficult to carry LeBron James all the way to the Western Conference Finals or to the Finals. So they figure they'll just create an in-season tournament. That way he could compete for a championship much quicker. See, they created the play-in tournament. See, the play-in tournament... Then work in LeBron James' favor because LeBron James, at least if his team had the 11 for 12 seed, they could compete for the eighth seed. See, they even created the play in tournament for LeBron, but that didn't work. When LeBron James was traded to the Lakers, remember, they praised LeBron James for being able to carry trash teams to the NBA Finals. The second he got out west and played with a trash team, he couldn't carry him to the finals. Then they say he's too old to carry a team to the finals. So he wasn't too old the year before in 2018 when he carried the Cleveland Cavaliers to the Eastern Conference Finals, to the NBA Finals. But then in the following season, when he gets to the Lakers, they say that he was too old. He's too old to carry a team. So you mean he couldn't even make it to the playoffs? He couldn't even get them an eighth seed. He just got old overnight. All of a sudden, overnight, he just became this super old man that couldn't carry trash team to the finals no more. Make it make sense. And one minute they say, LeBron is too old to carry a team. But he's not old enough to still be averaging the numbers that he's putting up. And to be flying 
back and forth up the court and barely breaking a sweat. Something's not adding up. Still jumping out the gym. He didn't even get to the playing tournament with Russell Westbrook. You had both Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, and Anthony Davis, and you couldn't make it to the play-in tournament. And then, once you do make it to the play-in tournament, you're losing. Or when you get to the play-in tournament, you're struggling with the Minnesota Timberwolves. But you're somehow so good enough to be able to beat the Memphis Grizzlies and the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> but then you get swept by the Denver Nuggets. All of it is a fluke. They're playing magic tricks. We're going to pamper you, LeBron. But that didn't work. So they said, you know what? We'll just cut to the chase. We'll just we'll eliminate all of that. We'll just create an in-season tournament. Anthony Davis is too risky. We can't rely upon Anthony Davis. No, we can't do that. So what we'll do is we'll make an in-season tournament. They're giving this man everything, and he still can't win. LeBron James cheats and gets his way, but he still loses at times, which is, is quite odd. What the RBA will do is they'll try to take Kevin Durant out of the game. They understand that Kevin Durant is their primary scorer, relentless scorer. So what they're going to try to do is, it was one game, Kevin Durant went from like, 0 for 10 or like 1 for 10. I'm like, who is this guy? But that's what they're going to allow the Lakers to do. It's the blueprint to what the, the Boston Celtics did when Kevin Durant, uh, I think it was actually the year before Kyrie Irving was traded. But in the playoffs versus the Boston Celtics, they allowed the Celtics to be extremely physical with Kevin Durant. It was almost like playing blacktop basketball. Y'all know how it is, how dirty they get playing in the hood at the Rucker, playing basketball in the hood at the blacktop. They was elbowing Kevin Durant, smacking him in the face. That's how they was doing Kevin Durant. I mean, smack the out of Kevin Durant, bruh. Beating him up, kicking him, kneeing him. You would have thought you was watching a UFC or a street fight. They was beating Kevin Durant up. That's what the RBA is going to do. The Rig Basketball Association. They're going to take Kevin Durant out of the game. And they're going to say, you know what? We're going to make Devin Booker beat us. We got the refs on our side. We're good. They know they're going to get to the free throw line more than any team. They know they're going to get the most foul calls. They're going to cheat the Phoenix Suns. The world is going to see the corruption. They're trying to do their best to get LeBron James another championship. They're going to try to paint NC's tournament championship as more valuable than an NBA championship.